Fresh jug, nice. So satisfying. Gonna need these. Pop the top, baby. Oh. Ooh, let's heap it up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's that's enough. Only the purest water for you, my pretty. <laughs> oh, excellent. Truly excellent. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Gonna need my favorite mug for this. Oh yeah. Only moments away from salvation. Mere moments. Ah. Ew. So those of you guys who watched my resolutions video know that one of my goals for this year is to get better with coffee in general. Uh, and when I said that, I was just kind of saying it to say something, anything at all. Uh, but I kind of had a eureka moment almost right afterwards and I decided it was time. Out with the old, in with the new. So let's do some purging. Here's my uh, kettle, I guess you would call this a kettle. Um, this is what I've used to boil water for years and years, and um, <laughs> that's enough out of that kettle. <laughs> Here we have my bean grinder. Yep, again, had it for a couple of years. Thing makes a noise like a demon, and uh, I'm not, I've never really liked it all that much, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll clean that up later. Here we have a um, uh, five month old bag of Starbucks beans. It's going straight in the trash. I'm gonna be more careful about that from now on. And last but not least, we've got the last jug of pre-ground beans that I will ever buy in my life, mark my words. Oh, there, okay, now everything's, everything's breaking, guys. <laughs> anyway, Cyanora Maxwell. Actually, actually, I might get lazy. Let's hold on to that one. <laughs> All right, so we've completed the purge process. Now let's uh, move on to some unboxing. That's right, you guys know what time it is. It's time for cutting. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the smallest box first. Uh, not that it's the least exciting or anything. Just, uh, I don't know. I've just made this decision and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> now this is from Rohi Coffee. And what this puppy is, this is very exciting, is uh, a timer. A scale with a timer built into it. And why is the timer important? Well, I guess if you want to get really nuts and bolts about making a pour over coffee, you want to be precise about how long each part of the process takes. So you start this puppy up at a specific moment and then it, you let it kind of command the way that you do your pour. If you can tell from the way I'm talking about this, I'm not entirely sure of myself. So we're gonna capture my first attempt here on camera today, and I think it's gonna be well. If it's any, if it's as interesting as what just happened with my old bean grinder, then it'll be it'll be good content, I think. I've never owned a scale before because it's always just been about, you know, like I'll put in two lumps today or one lump. Like I, I've always been very crude with my measurements, and uh, I'm excited to see just how perfect I can get this thing. I also think I might have seen. Yeah, check that out. Looks like they hooked me up with some uh, premium coffee beans as a thank you, which is amazing. Oh, it's a single origin too. I, uh, so let me let me let me explain. Between a week ago and now, I've done a bit of research, and by research I mean I've spoken with friends who know more about this stuff than I do. <laughs> uh, so I, you know, I'm kind of going off of whatever I've been told, um, and apparently single origin coffees are the best. They're lighter, they're the best for pour over. They, they, they make the best brew when you do what I'm about to do. Hey, it turned on. 
All right, we're in business. We don't have to charge it up. We don't have to wait for nobody. How do I zero it out? That's what I want to know. There we go. That's awesome. Nice, I totally understand. Okay, that is a first. Next up, uh, we've got the big guy. This is a starter pack and uh, yeah, let's go. This isn't gonna fit on this camera. <laughs> let's go through this one piece at a time. All right, so we've got our Hario, uh, or Hario, one or the other, V60, uh, wait, is this filters or? No, this is the dripper. Oh man, this is the, this is maybe the most important part. Oh, that's okay, that's all right. Here we go. So this is an exquisite piece of glassware. This is what we're going to be pouring the coffee into. Uh, we'll put a filter into this. Well, you'll see, what am I trying to tell? What am I, what am I telling you about? See the bottom of that? See that specific shape? Yeah. Now we've got the server, the coffee pot, as you plebeians might think it's called, but it's not. <laughs> it's called a server, you fools. Let's take a look at it. Very nice, right? Very nice. Definitely a premium piece of glassware. How do I, I do not know how to take the lid out. <laughs> Maybe I need to twist it. Yeah, okay, well that did it. Oh boy, man. All of these items are actually smaller than I'd assumed they were going to be, but I kind of like that. I actually, I really kind of like how compact everything is. I don't feel ripped off at all. This here is what's called a gooseneck kettle. And uh, the purpose of this boy is, uh, or girl, I mean, I don't, you know, don't have to gender my coffee products at all. What I really like about this is that this weird little, you know, loopy little spout on it that starts at the bottom is going to allow for me to get a nice, even, con very controllable pour over <laughs> the coffee ground. Can't wait to check this out in just a moment's time. Next up, we've got our Premium filters, V60 filters. This is what I thought I opened when I opened the, the V60 itself. Apparently these filters are made out of the poop of fire ants, which uh, is the purest substance known to man. And when you pour boiling water on it, it's, uh, I don't know what it is about these. They're just supposed to be good. So I'm gonna take one of these pups out of here, put it there for safekeeping, because we're about to do something very special with it, aren't we? These are the Hari Hario V60 paper coffee filters. Coffee paper filters. I'm sorry, I apologize. I said that wrong. And last but not least here, we have ourselves the mother of all coffee grinders. Well, that's not true. I'm sure there are some out there that cost thousands of dollars and allow you to grind human bone as well. But this guy is called the on the Baratza Encore. Um, it is, it is uh, a lot of people swear by it. It's uh, supposed to be quite, this thing is basically supposed to give you uh, infinite control over the coarseness of your bean grind. Um, as you can probably tell, I have learned nothing since I first tried to speak about coffee. So I guess you might be asking why go for such a premium grinder? Why do you need the grinder of the golds, Adam? Why, what was wrong with that one that you just spilled all over the floor? Oh, that's a cardboard cut. Apparently when you're getting as specific as I'm about to get, you start to notice uh, nuances in bitterness or acidity or something they call hollowness. I've seen that word tossed around. I don't know what the hell hollowness means. But uh, I guess depending on depending on how you think it tastes and if it's not doing it for you, then you just, uh, you know, you make it finer or you make it coarser. And this grinder has got me covered. Ooh, ooh, ooh. let's put this down. <laughs> okay, there we are. For real, I just got a cardboard cut. Focus, camera, focus. This is important. A cardboard cut. Oh, oh. The dangers of the job. I'm assuming this just pops right in somehow, some way. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take a brief break here just to, uh, <laughs> just to get myself sorted before we attempt the impossible. Okay, so we're back and believe it or not, I have succeeded in assembling and cleaning everything. The sun has gone down, but we have made progress and I think I'm ready to try to make my first ever cup of 
pour over coffee. Is it a good idea to be doing this, trying this, for the, attempting this for the first time on camera? Probably not, but uh, here we are and here we be and, well, I wouldn't have it any other way. So we're gonna go with the whiskey barrel aged single origin uh, beans, the ones that they that uh, Rohi Coffee sent me along with the grinder. Oh, and you know what, before I forget, um, one thing that I completely forgot to unbox. That's right, bonus unboxing. Where'd I put my cutting knife? So one of the benefits to living in a city like Toronto, as overpriced and pretentious as it can be, is that uh, when you wanna get into something, especially something as hipster as coffee, the choices are literally endless as to where you can shop and what you can get your hands on. And so this is from a place called DeMello Coffee, and I'm not, I'm not calling you pretentious or hipster or anything, DeMello. Uh, so what this is, is a starter pack and also a bonus set of filters. Well, it's not bonus, I, pay, I paid for these, but filters nonetheless. But this is just a whole box full of excellent looking coffees. And I think there are six total bags in here. I'll get them all put out on the table nice and nice and cool looking for you guys. And for me, because this is this is what my brain loves best. Oh yeah, just look at that, wouldn't ya? Or would ya? How does that phrase work? Just a whole bunch of interesting looking co uh, coffee beans from DeMello Coffee. We've got things like Ethiopia. 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 <laughs> now I'm wondering if I mixed it up at all, really. El Salvador, Guatemala. This one's called Lollipop. I believe this is one of DeMello's actual home brews. I just grabbed one of these just to make things interesting. Although it does say 40% Ethiopia. So anyway, these are all going to be so much fun to make. And I know that I'm supposed to grind them within a month or so of receiving them. Otherwise they start to lose their flavor or potency or whatever. So I've got a lot of coffee to make this month. <laughs> but for now, we're going to stick with the stuff that Rohi sent to us, which is the whiskey barrel aged single origin roast. So if I remember this right, and I didn't review my notes before I started recording, so that was probably stupid, but here we go. Um, I think I want to make about 20 grams worth of coffee uh, just for myself. So that's 20 grams of beans. And so before I even grind them up, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out 20 grams of beans. So I'm gonna power on my scale here. I'm gonna put this measuring cup on top and I'm gonna press the power button again to zero it out. Okay, so now we're ready to weigh our beans. 20 grams. Oh, that was too, that's too many grams there. And this is too small a rip to pour them back. So let's put them in this cup here. A little bit more, a little bit too much. Look, man, we're here to be precise, right? That'll do it. 19.8 is good enough for me. So now it's time to grind these suckers up, which means it's time to bust out the Baratza. This is starting to become genuinely very exciting for me as we close in on the final steps here. Um, this, this power cable's kind of running a little far. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I'm impatient and uh, it's difficult to set these shots up. So just don't, just don't follow my lead and you'll be fine. We're gonna dump our 20 grams of coffee beans into the Baratza. Oh yeah, what am I doing? And uh, when I assembled this thing, I, uh, I twisted it to exactly 15. There's a, a sort of a scale here for how coarse you wanna grind it up. Set it to 15 because that's what the manual told me is best for the V60, which is what we're working with today. So that's very cool. I don't know what this button is. Oh yeah, that's what that button is. But that's weird because there's an off on switch down here. There we go. Get that last bean there. Down to the final bean. <laughs> now take a look at this. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And may I say, that's potentially, jokes aside, that might be the most heavenly smelling little patch of coffee I've ever smelled. So we're gonna turn this off, we're gonna unplug this. We're back to being safe, everybody. Okay, so what's next? Well, what we wanna do is uh, put our entire rig here on the scale. 
and we want to zero the scale out again and then we want to pour our coffee beans into it um, but before we do that we need to pour some boiling water into the filter just to sort of clean the filter pur purify de depulpify the filter so let's get our gooseneck going we're just gonna get that boiling really not a bad looking gooseneck if i gotta of all the of all the goosenecks i've seen sounds an awful lot to me like the uh the goosenecks ready to go so i'm going to be very careful here with this boiling water and we're just going to pour it around the outskirts of the filter that's good just a dash that was probably too much if i'm being honest we're going to let that run through and then i'm just going to actually now that it's all run through, take that off. I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit just to preheat the kettle that we're about to pour everything into. This is getting exciting, everybody. I'm gonna pour that out. Now it's go time, guys. I had a shot in mind here that was gonna look much better, but we go with what we got. I think it's cooler if you can see the coffee, so you won't be able to see the timer, but well, nobody's perfect, especially not me. Okay guys, so I'm turning the scale on. Our kettle's nice and warm. Our filter's nice and cleaned out. I believe that the idea here is that you want the water to be at absolute boil when you pour it onto the coffee in the first place. Not good enough to uh, have it sitting aside, right? And just a quick disclaimer here, guys. We're about to start the official part of this where everything has to happen in about a minute, so you're likely to see me freak out a little bit here. I get very anxious when I cook even though we're just talking coffee. All right, anyway, here we go. So I'm gonna pour the beans into, just get it nice and even. Okay, and I'm just gonna make a little well in the center of the beans with my finger. Apparently that helps. I'm not going to explain the science behind it because I don't know it myself. Let's get this a little closer. Nice. And now it is all going to begin. And I just realized I don't quite remember. Right, okay, so <laughs> the water is two to one to the beans. So since we put 20 grams of beans in, we're gonna put in 40 grams of water. And since our scale currently reads 20, or almost, I wanna fill that up to 60 with the water. So it sounds like we're boiling over here. Yeah, I can see the steam coming out. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna do our first 40. So we're gonna do this until the scale hits 60 right into the center there and around the outside. Oh, I went way too far. Ugh, balls. That's okay, that's fine. No worries. Way too far, way too far. I went to 85. That's okay though. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna give it a little, I'm gonna shake it, shake it in a circle here just to uh, even out the coffee. And this is what's called the bloom, everybody. So at this point, we're letting that uh, coffee rise up like a muffin or something like that. We want it to go for about 30 to 40 seconds. And I have not been counting, so I'm gonna hit the timer now. The timer doesn't wanna start. There we go. At this point, I'm gonna let it go into about 15 seconds, and then it's gonna be go time. So we're letting this go until 15, it's almost there. Okay, so now I wanna pour in 60%, nice and slow and even pour. Nice, I'm gonna circle around. And I just realized that I have no idea what 60% of my overall yield should add up to. I have literally no idea. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm even using the scale at this point, because I've screwed everything up that has to do with the scale, but this is uh, the fun of it. It's a work in progress. I'll be doing this every morning, so eventually I'll have it figured out. Um, so what I'm just gonna do now is, I'm just gonna wait and each time that it starts to go down, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more in and top her off. Just pour it around the outside, get the grounds off of the side of the filter there. That's good. Now something tells me that's probably enough. Oh, and by the way, that whole part that I just really fumbled my way through is supposed to take exactly 30 seconds, but I forgot to keep my eyes on the timer. <laughs> This is just like when I play games, guys. I just, I'm so focused on like, what's the camera see? And uh, I just forget what I'm doing and I do it improperly, but that's cool. This, this is, this is, a, this is, a, this is actually really fun, <laughs> so. Okay, that's probably enough. That's already two cups of coffee and I'm only trying to make one here, so. I don't want to ruin the potency of it. 
by drowning it in water, which, you know, I, I may have already done that. I'm just gonna take a spoon and, oh, I think I'm too late. At some point I was supposed to go in with a spoon and do a stir in one direction and a stir in the other. You know what? That was certainly supposed to happen while there was water still in there, so that was pointless. Anyways, guys, we're at a very exciting point here because I believe, I believe I'm finished. I'm finished with this process. Grabbing myself a plate, I'm gonna put the, is this really hot? Oh, there's a, there's a. I'm gonna put the V60 on this plate here for a sec, and once that's cooled down, I'm gonna throw those grounds in the garbage. And here, my God, my God. I'm gonna swirl it a bit, because that's what you do with wine, right? You swirl it to let it breathe. Is that what we do with coffee as well? Probably not. There we have it. A finished pot of pour over coffee. Let's have some. Let's try it, right? It took me so long to set all of this up that it's, it's, uh, it's a little late now and um, this, is, this is sure to keep me up all night. That's all right. There we go. Oh, I probably should have gotten a nice shot of that. Silly me. Give it a second here so as not to scald my tongue into oblivion. Otherwise, I would not be recording any audio tomorrow. All right, well, we don't want to wait too long. Once it gets cooled down to a point, uh, it loses some of its flavor, I think. So I guess this is a fairly big moment. This is my first ever sip of a pour over coffee. This one that I made. Actually, maybe in general. Ew. Uh, in all seriousness though, this is actually pretty delicious. Not to mention I completely butchered the process, so it's only up from here. So anyway, I, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and my channel in general. Uh, I hope that you're having a great year so far and I will see you for the next video.